was a was an extra challenge, I guess we should say. But is it easy, maybe, for you to get charged up because of the way it went last year? I wouldn't say that. I think every game kind of presents its own opportunities for us, and being able to play an offense of this magnitude, you know, it'll do a lot for the confidence of our defense if we're able to slow it down. A lot of teams haven't been able to do so. So I really think that's how we're looking at it right now. Well, good luck. What's different about the Oklahoma State offense <laughs> that you're preparing for now? Than maybe compared to, do you remember what you're preparing for last year? Well, um, <clears throat> you got this is different personnel. Uh, different guys being in there, but really it's the same offense. So mm -hmm. you just got to prepare to stop it like we tried to last year. But obviously we're going to come with the game plan that we feel we can execute better. Yeah, I mean, different coaches. So, I mean, have you noticed much of a difference in, in preparing for this offense? Or is the terminology stuff for the most part still the same? No, everything's different. Everything's different? Yeah, everything's different. Yeah. 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 Canceled your subscription to the school paper. Excuse me? You canceled your subscription to the school paper. I don't pay attention to it. It means absolutely nothing to me. You know, each week, you know, it seems like you, know, you get emotionally high because you guys are in games and then it seems pretty consistent. Just the way it ends, it just kind of falls off somewhere. I mean, emotionally, how do you guys kind of pick yourselves back up from that? I mean, I know Dane says it's you know, just as simple as being involved each week, you know, just each week's different. But I mean, is there, I mean, after week after week, is there anything you guys have to do to kind of continue, especially as one of the team captains, to kind of kind of pick everybody up and keep everybody inspired and confident? Well, well that's where the leaders come in. We got to make sure to bring high energy to every practice and make sure guys are continuing to improve and get better each week so we can get more wins. And that'll that'll bring guys' confidence up more than anything. Yeah. What, there's one thing you and your the rest of your defensive linemen can hang your hat on right now. I mean, it's kind of just one thing that you guys do real well, that you guys are confident in, that you guys know you do this well. I mean, what, what is that? Uh, this is really just executing what's asking us better and uh, performing at a higher level, really. You know, obviously, we want to get our numbers up more than what we're doing right now, but I think uh, we've improved on where we were last year, and that, that's, you know, we could, we could ask for a lot more, but that, that's good for right now. You know, we haven't seen you really in a position to like really get after the quarterback at it yet. But I mean, are you, are you doing some other things that are kind of keeping you out of that backfield, or just are they kind of pulling you away, or is it teams scheming against you? Or? Well, the past couple games, you know, when you play a mobile, a mobile quarterback, you kind of want to make them use their arms more than their legs. You feel like they're more dangerous uh, on the ground than they are through the air. Uh, the past couple quarterbacks we've played, they've been guys who can move around a whole lot. So we kind of try to contain the pocket and not let them get out of it more than we were trying to pass rush and get after it. Well, can you talk a little bit about Oklahoma State and what you know? I, mean, I know you, you mentioned you know, tempo. I mean, how do you kind of deal with that from as a defensive line and you know, slash linebacker? You got to be able to prepare for it through practice. You got to go full speed every play, and you got to hurry up and get back to the ball, get your calls quicker, and um, you know, just have to be able to be fatigued. You got to be ready to get on and off the field. We'll be seven guys uh, when we get a chance to, because you want to have fresh bodies out there at all times. Yeah, you know, what was practice like? You know, over the last few days. I mean, you say you know, I mean, it's just. Do you get things called quicker? You try to simulate that, or is it just? Uh, I mean, is it just expecting that? I mean, yeah, well, you know, you want to get everybody to the ball when we the tackle. You know, we got to get as many hats there as we can, and then as soon as the play's over, you want to run back to the line of scrimmage so we can prepare for the type of tempo that they're going to be playing at. All right, man. Just real quick, kind of lighten things up. What kind of stuff are you listening to at home when you're when you're not here? What kind of stuff I'm listening to? Yeah, yeah. What are you listening? to? Music? Yeah. I mean, I got so much music. I listen to. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much known as a music head on the team, yeah. so I've got everything from Young Jeezy to Wiz Khalifa, Weekend, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I, I got everything. Yeah, but, so maybe that's a better question. What would be something you listen to that you wouldn't ex people wouldn't expect you to be listening to? I mean, anybody who everybody who knows me on the team, they know I'm the, the music guy on the mm -hmm. team. So they ask me for whatever, and I usually have it. Cool. You put any requests with the DJs out of practice? Or? I have. Yeah, they actually played a couple. Songs, they've played a couple songs that I put in so far. Is that, is that Bon Jovi in your playlist <laughs> no, yet? That or? Was not mine. <laughs>